G'day, thanks for joining us for Saturday Afternoon Football. Anthony Hudson here, bringing you all the action today from the SCG. With me in the box for this match will be Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Thanks, hello. It's great to be here. Today's match, the Swans and Gold Coast. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out winners today. Led by their captain onto the field of play. The banners are ready for the players. The captains make their way to the middle for the toss. Sydney kicking to the left of screen. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. Players head to their positions as we prepare for the opening bounce. And here we go. It's the Swans taking on the Suns. Warple moves it by hand, and now they're away. Great mark under pressure. Shaw collects the kick. Nice mark under pressure. Puts the handball out in front. With the ball is Asprey. Doing well was Cripps. Nice footy. Ball up in the centre square. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Cleanly picked up. Asprey heads towards the goals. Couldn't quite with the mark. Warple hacking it out of there. Ball collected. Rioli wins the foot race. Off hands from Jenkins. Yo scoops it up. Manufactures the handball. Martin Marks. Got the hands free. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Hits the post. And it's a minor. Teammates break for him. Decides to play on. Hathley puts on the tackle and is rewarded. Aware of the tackler. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. A chance here to convert for Gold Coast. Goes for the goals. Nice work from Tathley. Gets his first. He loved that one. They draw first blood. Center bounce. Thrashes it. Did well not to confuse himself. Asprey gives it to the player running past. Gets a quick kick away. Picked up by Ryan. Atley couldn't stick the tackle. Hearn gives it to the player running past. A big contested grab. Tries to gain some territory. Doing well to intercept that kick. Gold Coast for allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they sit up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. The ball ends up going to ground. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Clurie heads onto the ground. And will get a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Kept alive under pressure, and the ball ends up over the line. Thrown in now. 
punched away. Has it now. Martin releases by hand. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Warple takes it well. Goes for territory. Parrish takes the mark. Uncontested. Taranto just hunted him down. Parrish going to spot a bother. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Goes with the kick. Menegola looks to get onto the football. Yo just gets a boot to it. Reed going for broke now. Gets some reward for his efforts. That's two in a row for Gold Coast. 13 points the difference. Scoops up the ball. Licks with hands. Asprey can work it back. Handballs. Just got the hands in the back there. Elects to kick. Cleary does well to mark. He flicks it over. That was a sloppy handball. Gathers it now. Puts it into space. Pushes through with power. Hunted him down beautifully and wins the free. Knew what was coming. Showing some really good pressure there. Cripps with a drilling ball. Doing well with the mark. Lysette uses it by foot. Picked off by Taranto. Tries to release the pressure. McPherson wins the ball in the air. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. Going for goal number one. That kick hits the post. Off hands. Sydney produced the margin. Searching for a teammate. Hooker decides to go to himself. He wins the ball in the air. Got boot to ball. Simply outplayed his opponent. Uses it by foot. Alice just too high with the tackle. The kick from Batley. Going for goal number one. Cripps can celebrate however he likes after a goal like that. Congratulated by his teammates. Sydney trailing, but they can easily catch up from here. That's a really good team goal. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Back in the middle now. One down. Difficult ball controlled. Alice can't hold on to the tackle. Off hands from eight. Cripps just threw it. Warple goes with the kick. The ball spills to Person. Ace made the tricky bounce look easy. It's a behind. If Sydney can get the next one, they hit the front. Easily takes the mark. Flosto kicks the ball deep. Mark me in space was heard. Alice takes the mark. Chose to kick it. Finds a target. Sydney will be looking to get the lead with this shot. He's excited about that one. Sydney grabbed the lead. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. They're back in motion. Swats it. Takes possession. Ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Cripps finds a way to hang on. 
great tackling technique. Ball spills. McCluggage gains possession. He gains possession. Penetrating handball. They can create from this. Kicks hurriedly. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the opening term. The score, Sydney, 14, to the Suns, 13. Sydney, grew up and about early, and I bet the coach would be happy with this lead at quarter time. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? Gold Coast are doing well to control the ball in the air. They are getting to the right spots to cut off opposition attacks. They just need to be more controlled from this point forward. Thanks, Gary. The second term ready to get underway. Umpire ready to resume play. Hammers it. Here's Cripps. Keeps the kick low. Spills the mark. Natanui going for number one. He bangs it through. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Sydney have three in a row. Sydney by seven points. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. About to resume hostilities. Gorn hurls it away. Yo gets the loose ball. And the mark will be paid. Channels a long kick. He gives chase to the footy. Uses the bar. Hit the man hard. Taranto kicks out of the congestion. Alice read it best. Stands tall and marks. Big kick required from this distance. Going for goal number one. He takes the mark. 15 metres out. Reed going for number two. Look at them celebrate that effort. There's nothing in this. Back in the middle now. Punches are clear. Is in his possession. Ryan Cadet lost it. Flostone dug out the loose ball. Uses his pace. Can't take possession. It's cut off by Asprey. Great tackling there, Hutto. Wasting a lot of effort there. Warple won himself a free. Moves the ball by foot. Yo, read it best. Drag down by Glyset. Big tackle. Maynard gets on the end of this. 
A spear and kick. Flostar gets it away under pressure. Contests the hard ball. Nananui to get the free kick. So, what can Sydney do with this opportunity in front of goal? This will certainly test him from this distance. Okay. Nananui looking to put through another goal. That one will really lift them. Yes, I know. They get around him after that effort. Sydney by seven points. The Swans, ruck work needs to be a bit better. Too many of their hitouts are getting sharked by the opposition. Sutcliffe over the top. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. What a goal! His teammates rush over. Gold Coast behind by one. It's great to watch, Hado. Plenty of excitement. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. The game is back underway. Thrashes it. Warple now. Cutler unable to lay the tackle. Big moment to get the lead with this kick. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Putting on the bump was Himmelberg. Fights the good fight. Put his body on the line. Just releases the ball. It's marked by Aish. Aish sends one up towards the wing. An easy grab for Cutler. Plays on. Pumps the ball long. Nananui runs after this one. Uses a short handle. Fails to fend off the tackler. A great defensive effort. Slams it onto the boot. Martin gets in the way. Martin throws the ball away. Slams it on the boot. Easily takes the mark. Looks up with the kick. The contest, no match for him. You're right, Hutto. Puts boot to ball. Menegola gathers it now. Doesn't take the mark. Snaffled up by Sutcliffe. Used the hands and gives away the free. Putting this one through would give Gold Coast plenty of confidence. Not sure if he has the journey from here. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto. And we can just sit back and enjoy it. The ball is coming back into play. Thumps it clear. Rioli breaks the tackle. Hacks it forward. Dug out by Martin. Hands that ball to the opposition. Salem just handballs into space. Going for goal number one. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Celebrating hard. They're in the lead now. Back in the middle to resume play. Punched away. The ball in the hands of Dallas. Clean pickup by Taranto. Handballs to no one in particular. Huge opportunity to grab the lead. A great goal. He's enjoying that goal. Sydney still back the lead. Back with another centre bounce. Winning it was Natanui. Gives the old don't argue. He gets his hands on the footy. Picked off by Menegolik. Pushes through with power. Just sends it into space. Turned it over. Cripps gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Takes it well. Hooker drives the kick. Found space for an easy mark. Goes by foot. Does well to cut off the kick. Chips it towards half forward. A race for the loose ball. Going for goal number one. No problems with that kick for Ryan. Smiles all round. Sydney by seven points. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Nananui got a fist to it. Hits him hard. Putting his skills on display. Right has the ball. Alice comes away with the ball. He just can't get out of the action. 
Shaw collects it. You've seen a half now, Gaz. Your thoughts? Sydney have had a solid first half and will look to show more of the same in the second. Here's Gary to take a look at the key stats. Sydney could have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working because they're getting on top once they force a contest. Thanks for that, Gary. It's half time, and no doubt the coaches will want to have a chat to their teams about their first half performance. Players back on the field to begin the second half here. The game is back underway. Gorn with a big fist on it. Nobody can hold on here. Kicks out of the congestion. A chance to reload the attack now. Sinks the slipper into it. Sweeping handball. A great mark taken there. Simpkin kicks it. Great mark. McCluggage elects to kick. Takes the mark. Harris clears the ball from the contest. He has to hold on to those. Martin throws the ball away. McRae uses it by foot. McPherson just threw it. He drives it. The ball finds Alice. Stabs at the kick. Flostein marks it. Decides to kick. He gets above the crowd. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Sydney forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Lysette gets the opportunity to have a shot for goal. 40 metres from home. Move it on. He locks his chances from here. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. He acknowledges the crowd. He did really well there and gets the reward. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Gold Coast are doing a great job of applying pressure and creating turnovers. It's allowing them plenty of opportunities. They just need to convert those into scores. Clears the contest. He wins possession. And the mark will be paid. Fans crossing their fingers. Hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. McPherson gets him hard. Ryan dug it out. Rushes with the kick. Ball spills. Ashbury applying the pressure. Outstanding pressure. We'll get a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Sydney need to be far more competitive with their clearance work. They can't win games that way. Releases the handball, kicks long for goal and misses. Not many players can make it from that distance. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Keeps it alive, under some pressure. Found a way to keep it alive. Eventually, the ball goes over the line. Cluggage coming onto the ground. Toss back into play. Gorn just swats it away. Giving it off was Martin. Oh, what about that? That was really special. Pretty happy with that one. Just two goals in it. About to resume hostilities. Thump clear. Cripps with the ball. Gets the handball away. Fighting hard was Lysette. He gets another possession. 
good grab there from right. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Going for goal number one. No issues with that drop punt. He celebrates hard after that. Sydney doing well at the moment. We resume hostilities. Lysette thumps it forward. Slams it on the boot. Alice was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Alice just threw it. Goes with the kick. Ends up marking uncontested. Moved on by Shaw. Paris wins the marking contest. He lays off the pass. Ball gets cut off. Missed the target. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Right. Slams it onto the boot. Couldn't complete the mark. Finding the ball was Cripps. Warple earns a free kick. Got boot to ball. It's a foot race to get this one. Gathered by Martin. He's been influential. Cripps with a poor kick out of play. Elects to kick. Cleary hangs on to that one. Sydney haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. A long driving kick. Hearn sends one up towards the wing. Carlisle looking to track down the footy. Just gets it onto the boot. Strong mark in the contest. Kick by Hooker. Hamling takes the mark. Uses it now. Alice looking to track down the footy. Menegola with a chance to light things up. Goes through from behind. The lead is now 13. Searching for a teammate. Plays on. With a driving kick. Great mark under pressure. Kicks the ball deep. Martin not getting much of it, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hanno. The umpire calls for it. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Collecting high fives now after that goal. No doubt about it. Three goals for him now. What an effort. This kick stretches the lead. Pretty happy with that one. Thumps it clear. Cripps on the ball. Ryan doesn't take the mark. Well, now it's a ball up. Punches it clear. He's got the footy in his hands. Not long left on the clock now. Yo releases the ball. Jenkins just gets it out of the boot. Puts it on the boot. Gaz, what are your thoughts after that third quarter? Sydney will be looking to not only hold their lead, but they want to put this beyond doubt early and run away with a big win. Here's Gaz to break down the stats. Sydney have taken control of the outside game. They've been able to find more space in the opposition, and it's pain. Last quarter action, ready to go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Gorn gets onto the ball. Natanui controlled it well off the bounce. Ends up turning this ball over. Davis puts it on the boot. Intercepts the ball very well. A piercing kick from Yo, and the ball trickles over the line. Ball to be tossed back in. Thrown in now. Clean from the half volley. Goes by hand. Just put it on the boot. Jenkins spills it. Thank you. 
There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really entertaining game of football. And the umpire says, my ball. Sydney are getting beaten at the coalface. They need to rectify these clearance numbers to give themselves the best chance going forward. Leave it. Handballs. Ends up with Menegola. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Sydney are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Out of bounds in the pocket. Umpire calls for a throw-in. Umpire tosses it in. Punched away. Gets on the end of this. McPherson struggling to run at the moment. He's put it through. Look at them celebrate that effort. That's three in a row for Sydney. Now they lead by 25. Big thump from Gorn. Yo, gets a quick kick away. Collects the loose ball. Ball up close to the boundary. Gorn got a fist to it. Picked up under pressure. Natanui wins it back. Stuck the bits out there and held on to it. Sydney have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Good body work to win the mark. He spears the ball. Atley controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Chose to kick it. Hamling picks it up, hacking it out of there. The possession caused a turnover. Lever gets the handball away. Hurried kick. Turns it over there. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Asprey has a great set of hands. Uses it by foot. Lever failing to get near it, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. Rioli slips high and gives away the free kick. Carlisle moves it now. Winning the ball in the air was Ellis. Sydney haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Rioli won himself a free. Going for goal number one. Puts it right through the middle. He acknowledges the crowd. Gold Coast close the gap to 19. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Missed his target by hand. Collected by Cutler. Moves it by foot. The mark is taken by Asprey. Sydney are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. The margin is 25. That's a really good team goal. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Sydney are taking their time and kicking the smart options inside 50, and that's having a real bearing on this match. About to resume play. Thrashes it. And now Warple. Open opportunity for Zafflet. Lining up for goal. Move it on. A chance to put a second goal on the board. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Smiles all round. Gold Coast behind by 19. Back in the middle now. Gorn with the punch. Ace onto the ball. The mark is taken by Ryan. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. 
finding the loose ball was Martin. Gets the loose ball. Gets a quick kick away. Cleary gathers it now. Quickly onto the boot. Carlo with the mark. Looks up with the kick. Landed in his back on this occasion. Moves the ball by foot. Great mark in the pack. Going for distance with the kick. Maynard determined to reach the ball. Dug out the loose ball. Opportunity for Simkin. Almost delivers, but not quite. Sydney. Clee is now 20. Hookak searching for a teammate. Gardner presents and takes the mark. Gardner sends one up towards the wing. It's a turnover. Just gives it away. Dishes it off. And the ball trickles over the boundary. What can you tell us, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Jenkins thrashes it. Barco moves it by hand. He has the ball. Right, takes a strong mark. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. 45 metres out. Hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. What a sensational goal. This kick puts them further into the lead. Right, enjoying that goal. Sydney doing well at the moment. Centre bounce. Nananui with the hit. Just dismisses his opponent. Found time to get it on the boot. Well collected. Gathered by Asprey. Uses a short handle. Carlo plays the tackle. A great defensive effort. Cutler elects to kick. Sydney producing a fantastic second half to win that game. Gary, what do you make of the result? A massive missed opportunity for Gold Coast. They got themselves into a good position and then just fell apart at the seams. A really disappointing result. Thanks for that. What will the odds be great or small? Suns will go in and win over all. Final scores are 76 to 50.